so I promised y'all the details of what new is going on that I was so cryptic about. We're going to be starting to move into a new direction and I will be, uh, when it comes to actually my own business, I have decided to bring to y'all some new goodies from a new company. The company is gonna be skincare, health, it's gonna have skincare, nutrition, um, home care, hair care, all the things, body care, you name it. It's gonna be all of these things, okay? And I really thought and prayed about it before I did it because for the last five years, Unique has been amazing for me. It has been the one that I've mostly just wrote, okay? But as I told y'all before, I changed to becoming a Unique affiliate instead of an ambassador, which is like building teams and more like running my business. And instead, like just representing the products instead of like, you know, uh, being a business builder with them is what I should say. Okay. Well, now I'm going to be more business building in a new direction, a new company. And the reason I really prayed about it and thought about it was because there were some great big changes with Unique. Some that are really exciting and amazing. And it's great for a lot of different people so that they can decide to share products that they love, but not necessarily do a business. And I thought about it and at first I was like, I don't understand why they're doing it, whatever. But I think this was an opportunity for God to show me that this was for me as well. The one thing I didn't expect was to start seeing from another company, um, bringing you goodies and items that still wonderful quality products, but more in your budget more for uh for your money okay and the reason that i say that is because i love unique like all their products are amazing like again i say but um they are pricier and because of that i do want to go into a new direction and bring to you guys things that i represent and as a mama who juggles a lot of different things and going a lot of different places and trying to actually one of the biggest things that's on my uh, vision board this year is to be more financially um, savvy and to save more to be more smart with that and how can you do that when you don't um when you don't do it the right way okay so I am going to be uh, working with a company and it is going to still bring you lots of the goodies that I'm showing you, but it is going to let you get more bang for your buck. It is still has a wonderful mission. It is still going to be um, on a business level for me where I'm actually still running a business, but I'm also going to be representing items as an affiliate for other companies because I do love the products, like I said before. I just wanted to be realistic and <clears throat> transparent with y'all because as I started shifting towards this other company, I was like confused because I was like, well, people are going to think that I'm just trying to jump ship from Unique and like I'm trying to just be wishy-washy about items and that's not what I want to show you guys, but God was revealing to me like this is more what you were wanting to show people, the people that you were wanting to help, you were wanting to help people to feel confident about themselves, to love themselves. You were show, you wanted to show them that they still take care of their families, but at the same time, um, they need to have time for themselves as well. And this way is going to be able for me to achieve that in the best way that I can. You might be asking, like, what made you decide to change? Honestly. I kind of been debating on it over the last year when they were making bigger changes. And I was like, you know, I love all these exciting, fun changes that's happening, but something just feels different. And I didn't realize at that time God was just speaking to me. You know, sometimes when something feels different, it may not necessarily be for a bad reason. You're just like, like, I can't find a bad reason. I'm just trying to figure out like why my heart's moving differently. And cause don't you always hear about these falling out stories with people in companies? Anyways, I didn't have that kind of story. I feel like sometimes people need to hear that. You like, you don't always need to have a negative experience with the place in order to decide that it's time to like elevate yourself, right? 
so anyways, I was like, I don't have anything negative really to say, but, um, but I just knew that it was time to do something different, right? Because I hear a lot of like influencers. I don't consider myself an influencer, but I hear a lot of influencers say like, oh, um, you know, I'm just so sad because this happened and like, I guess it was God and blah, blah, blah. And they try to almost like, and I don't try to say this negatively, but they almost try to like blame God for the reason that they're leaving that company. Like I'm so heartbroken and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it doesn't have to be a bad experience. Like God can move you from a place if you don't let him drag you out of there. Um, and, and I will be the first to admit, like God had to drag me out of a couple of places cause I wasn't listening to him, but it could have not been a negative experience. I was the one that didn't leave when it was time to go. If you're not careful and you don't leave when God tells you to go, what happens is your heart begins to become uneasy because you're no longer serving the purpose that you're doing and you don't know why you're dissatisfied and not fulfilled. And so then you find something and I'm not saying like you're trying to find something negative, but you do, you end up finding something you're not happy with at the current situation. And it like, because of that, you end up having a falling out with it because you stayed too long and you're not doing what God's calling you to do instead of just leaving. And so then you have a bad experience. It doesn't always have to be a bad experience. We just don't leave when we're supposed to. That's okay. We learn, we live, we learn, but that's what happened to me for the longest time. I'm the most stubborn one. That's why I'm saying this. I'm not blaming on anybody else. I'm a stubborn one. But God started showing me. And as I was super excited sitting in the middle of convention. And I think this happens for a lot of people. I was sitting in convention. And that's one of the places where people either decide to like, I am going to be with this company forever. Uh, because of all of the fun, exciting things and the encouragement. I mean, it's amazing. If you ever have a chance to go to a convention with a company that you work for, go because it will either solidify and keep you there or you think that you're gonna be there and something shifts and you're like, something's changing in me. You have to be ready to discern it. I was sitting there and I experienced two different emotions, okay? Some people think that you can't do that, but you can. I was like, I love this, this is amazing. Like, this is what I was supposed to be doing. And at the same time, I was like, something feels off. And I just didn't know at that time how to discern that. So, Got home, was chewing on that for a little bit last year. I was like, okay, still excited, still rolling with it. And then as it got closer and closer to Christmas, I'm like, I don't know. Like, something just doesn't feel right. I wasn't as motivated. I wasn't, um, I wasn't as, like, invested. And I'm like, something's not right. Something's not right. I don't know what it is. Anyways, so then I was listening to one of my favorite leaders, if you um, ever listen to Amber Voigt, she's great, okay? I don't always agree with the same um, values that she has. That's okay. Like, you don't have to. But I'm always, I'm inspired with her transparency on everything. And she explained her story about why she actually left Unique. And for her, it was a little bit more of a negative experience, but she tried not to be that way. <clears throat> Anyways, as I was listening to her, something started speaking to me and clicking to me. And it was like listen like not necessarily you have the same story or you even agree but just listen and as she was talking about her values and why she chose to go with unique and as she why she was deciding to leave it was like god was kind of telling me like understand the reason why you started this to begin with and for me it was just a discount <laughs> That's why I first started. Like I didn't, I wasn't even interested in makeup, y'all. I didn't hardly wear makeup. I'm telling you the honest to God truth. I know you guys don't believe me, but if you stalk my page and go back five years, you will hardly ever find any selfies of me, any at all. It's all about my family and stuff like that. I was always behind the camera. That was my why, okay, it was my family. And we went on vacation. I was working at my old job and I was really stressed out. I was trying to keep it together because some people were saying some shady things about me at my job and I was trying to protect my character and God was telling me, don't do that. Like, you're not guilty. Stop 
trying to defend yourself. And that was so hard because I wanted to tell people I didn't do anything, right? Again, the negative experience, I was supposed to leave that job a long time ago and I didn't want to because I was terrified I would not be able to provide for my family. I would always have been working, always have been working to help my husband. And I got let go. I waited too long and that's okay. But for the longest time, I was very salty. Still a little salty sometimes trying to learn to forgive and forget. That was my fault, okay? My fault I didn't leave when I needed to, okay? Can't blame anybody but yourself. Anyway. Um, so I say all that to say in the middle of that, before they let me go, we went on vacation, very desperately needed vacation. And I got a kit of products from Unique. My, one of my best friends showed it to me. I was like, oh, this is really fun. She's like, go ahead and share the products and stuff. And I was like, you know, can't hurt. I share stuff I love anyways. Like I had tried Unique back when they had the old school two-step mascara or whatever and I was like this is cool blah 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 anyways um so I shared it and then I was like well this ain't that hard to do so I decided to dabble a little bit into sharing the products right and after that COVID came got I left I mean I got let go of my job as they got a new CEO he said I wasn't a good fit for them I'm like are you freaking kidding me I know why you're letting me go is from all this drama that this person started. Anyways, um, let, I had to let that go in the middle of trying to forgive and sort through all of that. I had to um, figure out what to do. I didn't want to go back to a standard job. I was kind of burnt out by that. And um, COVID hit. I wanted to be at home with my kids. I was working VIP kid which was teaching uh, Chinese kids virtually English as a second language. Very actually easy to do. You're just doing a lot of like language, like with your hands basically. But I worked way too hard to get paid $8 an hour. And my husband's like, you can't keep doing this. This is like stressing you out. Well, I was sleeping through my alarms and everything because of the scheduling. <laughs> So I let that go. I was like, it was cool while it lasted, but I let that go. Um, and then I just decided to do unique from home. My husband's like, let's do it. We might as well. Got to virtually train these kids anyways. Teach them. So we did that. And for the last couple of years, I was like, this isn't so bad. I like it. But I've been telling you and telling you guys that I'd like to help um, people that are around my age and a little older save money to feel wonderful about themselves. Still, that has become and evolved to be like the main reason why I still do this. I do this because this is my therapy. If it's somebody else's therapy or to feel better about themselves or to learn a new skill, that is where I want to be. You understand me? And so as I learned that and I've been putting together my vision board and I heard that speech from the um, speaker, Amber, I was like, yep, the, I'm listening to her because she knew her why and why it was time for her to leave. And she's very transparent about it. it I'm, I may not agree on some of the things she does, but again, it doesn't really matter. It told me what to look for for my why. Because you can be careful. You got to be careful because you will literally forget why you're doing the things that you're doing. If you're not. All right. And if you just are there just to be committed to a certain company and that's it and not for the reason of why you started it or are trying to keep going with it, you get lost. You get lost in what you're trying to do, even with good intentions. So I was like, it's time for me to go. And I let my friend know. I was like, you're my best friend. I feel like I feel like I'm betraying you, sort of, is what I wanted to tell her by that. And she's like, no, I've been... I have been trying to work on not worrying about stuff like that. And I was like, I love you. Great. That's amazing. Um, because that's what I needed to be able to be released to do what I needed to do. Um, and because of that, and she's such a good friend and understands. I don't know if I would have swapped over or not 100%. Like, I probably would have played in this stuff. But I, I feel even more, like, excited about it. 
if she wasn't the person she was, I don't know. I don't know how I would have because I really did it for her. Like I love, even though I'm not a people person, I say that I really am not. I am a people person. <laughs> I am totally a people person because, um, you know, like I need my, my, I need my, my group, my crew. That's why I call it my crew on my VIP uh, group. If you're not on there, you should be on there. It's my group. It's my crew, right? Like if you don't have a good crew, what do we have in life? Um, I'm not going to go and like talk to people all day long. That is not my thing. I'm definitely still introverted, but my crew is my crew. And that's why I do what I do.